There were really emotional scenes here at the International Terminal last night. Lots of cheering, crying and hugging from the small crowd that gathered here. There was a real sense of anxiety and also relief. Family members have been watching on what was happening in Lebanon in recent weeks and said they couldn't quite breathe that sense of that sigh of relief once that first flight touched down at around 7.30pm last night. Now that first Qantas flight departed from Larnaca in Cyprus and had around 350 people on board. A second flight landed last night as well and more flights are due to land this week. Now passengers on board that first flight said that they were really grateful to the Australian government for its support and help. They described the sense of unease in Lebanon in recent days of flight being cancelled every day and ultimately they said that they were really grateful to be back on Australian soil. While some people have been living in Lebanon, others had actually actually been on holiday and travelling when this conflict erupted. Here's what one passenger had to say. The Australian government done for us, no one in the world will do. The best. I was in result in holiday and I'm really proud, honest to God, I'm proud to be from this country. Our rooms have been bombed, no more neighbors, no more... Can you just imagine it for a second? And I never knew the importance of having this passport until today. Now, so far, around 900 Australians have been repatriated on those government flights. They have been prioritised for vulnerable passengers and they are free of charge. But around 3,000 Australians have registered their interest for more flights. The federal government says it's considering organising more, but the international airport in Beirut does remain open. So even as people continue to return home, there's still a growing sense of fear for those who've been left behind.